read aloud with me. Back on Sorry. Hi, kids. For today's book, we are going to read Little Rabbit Waits for the Moon by Beth Sushen and Stephanie Peel. If you have this book, grab it and let's start reading. Little Rabbit Couldn't Sleep In the day, the sun is there, warm and bright. But when night comes, the sky hangs low, dark and empty. If I fall asleep now, there'll be no one watching over me, thought Little Rabbit. I'll just have to wait for the moon. And so he did just that. The trouble with being so tired and sleepy was that he didn't know exactly when the moon would come. Little Rabbit waited and waited. More time passed and the moon still hadn't come. He thought he had better ask someone how much longer he might have to wait. This is my first day ever, said a small flower in the fields. Maybe I will have grown into a tree by the time your moon comes. That sounded like a very long time. Little Rabbit thought he had better ask someone else, just to be sure. Look deep into the water, shimmered a little lake nearby. Maybe your moon has fallen and can't get out. That didn't sound like what he had wanted to hear. Little Rabbit thought he had better ask someone else, just to be sure. Why don't you walk with me, twisted a long and winding path? We can find out where I'm leading and maybe your moon is at the other end. That sounded like it might be a long way away. Little Rabbit thought he had better ask someone else, just to be sure. I've just blown in to these parts, breezed a wind that had picked up. Who knows, I might be a big first storm by the time your moon comes. That didn't sound like something he wanted to wait for. Little Rabbit thought he had better ask someone else, just to be sure. We can't see your moon yet, rumbled the great rolling hills. And we can't see far into the distance from up here. That didn't sound very promising. Little Rabbit began to think that the moon might never come. And he was getting very, very tired. And then, from behind the hills, carried by the wind along the twist of the path, reflected in the lake and shining on the petals of the small flower, the most perfect moon is lit into the night sky. But Little Rabbit had fallen asleep, dreaming of the moon that would watch over him through the night. The end. I hope that you guys like this book. And if you want to watch or listen for more, tune in. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and listening. See you next time. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.